Hello everyone, I'm Rohit. I, on behalf of Sirovinder Society, would like to welcome all the teachers to one of the most successful and innovative idea sharing platform of India, ZIIEI, that is Zero Investment Innovation for Education Initiative. Here we will be discussing about new and innovative techniques for the different lessons from our chapters. And in short, we will learn how to make the whole process of learning fun and interesting for the kids. Today, the chapter that I'll be covering is from class five and CRD board Subject is mathematics, and the name of the lesson is known as tens and hundreds. The innovation that I'll be using here for covering this lesson is known as learning from empty wrappers. The main innovation behind using this idea is to use wrappers as a medium for making the students understand the concepts of the lesson and in turn make the uh, increase the classroom participation and also improve the linguistic skills of the students. The duration for implementing this idea will be 40 minutes. And some of the important concepts that we will be covering with the help of this innovation are the importance of use of decimal, decimal numbers in context of money, appreciate the role of place value in addition, subtraction, and multiplication, and also apply the four operations in solving problems related to money and numbers. As a prearrangement for implementing this idea, we ask the students to bring empty wrappers from their home, at least two empty wrappers from their home, which contains the price in terms of decimal. Once they bring the wrappers, we inform the students that today we are going to study about how to calculate numbers, how to calculate money with the help of these empty wrappers. And while saying so, we have prepared a chart on the blackboard and we ask the students to note it down in the notebook. The chart will be in the following manner. In the first column, we will write name of the product. In the second column, we'll write price of the product. In the third column, we will write price in terms of paisa. In the fourth column, we'll write how much can be brought with 500 rupees. And in the fifth column, we'll write how much money is left from 500 rupees. Then we inform the students, we ask the students to take the wrappers on their hand. And then we ask them, what is the name of the product? They will write the name of the product in the notebooks. Then we ask them to write the name of uh, the price of that product. Then they will write the price of the product. Say, suppose it is 10 rupees, so say they will write 10. Next, for the next column, we tell the students, write the price in terms of paisa. So they will write 100, uh, 1000 paisa. And then we tell them, how many products can be brought with 500 rupees so they will write 50 then we ask them how much money will be left from 500 rupees so in this case it will be zero so this way with uh, all the students will be writing their individual according to the individual items they will write they will fill up their chart once they are done with this we inform the students that next we are going to do one activity in groups in this activity, with the help of the next activity, we are trying to give the students the concept, the, the knowledge about the use of place, place value in addition, subtraction, and multiplication. We tell the students that now we are going to prepare a bill. We divide the whole class into six groups. And then we ask each group, each group to take out the wrappers and write and note down the following things in the notebooks. That is, they will make a chart in the chart, in the first column, they will write name of the product. In the second column, they will write amount of the quantity. And then they will write the total amount of bill, total amount that will be required for buying all those quantities. Once they are done with, done with this, we ask the students, we initiate a discussion in the classroom. We, we ask the students that what was the total bill for buying all the items? We take the responses. How much money was left when you bought the items with 500 rupees? We take their responses. We ask them, what was, can you tell me the figure in terms of decimal numbers in decimal fraction? We ask, we tell, take the responses. And then we conclude by informing the students that place value is very important for all terms of calculations. And in this manner, we can calculate, we can do our calculations for different numbers. And when we start teaching the students with the help of empty wrappers, with the help of this medium, with the help of this approach, we get a lot of learning outcomes. 
first of all they will be learning the concepts in a much more fun and interesting way we will be creating a self learning environment in the whole classroom apart from this when the students will be working in group it will help in the development of teamwork among the students also it will also help in building the critical thinking and the decision making process among the students and when you start implementing these ideas in your own classroom when you'll start teaching the students with the help of the empty wrappers with the help of this innovation then i'm definitely sure that will get a lot of other benefits apart from the ones which i have mentioned and for this innovation this idea that's all i hope you like this video and if you want more of such videos from us please do like share and subscribe to our official channel zii